we're going to be trying to see how far we can get from London in the space of just two days. But we can only use buses. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to our fourth and final part um, of our trip to see how far north we can get from London as possible in just two days. At the end of this video we'll, I'll also show the entire cost breakdown so you can see how much it exactly cost me to get from London to our final destination which I will not yet disclose. Just enjoying a lovely donor box uh, from German Donner Kebab, it's very tasty indeed. Our first bus is going to be the Comet bus, I think it's called the Comet, um, which is going to take us from Derby here, Derby bus station, to Chesterfield. I'm actually not too sure what bus type it is, so it'll be a bit of a surprise when it arrives. Um, but yeah, I'll be here in about 10 minutes or so. Um, very much looking forward to the ride. I'll tell you what, this Donner Kebab is actually really nice. Uh, single to Chesterfield, please. Thank you. We are on the Comet from Derby Bus Station to Chesterfield. Does. It's about five minutes late, so I'm a bit, I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to turn up, but I'm glad it has. This will take us very, very nicely to Chesterfield. The seats on that um, Sky, that Skylink um, bus were really not very comfortable at all. I'll be honest, everything else is brilliant about that bus except the seats, so I guess a 7 out of 10. See how this bus fares, I think we've got some nice fast sections on this one. Navigate by train stations, Ripley's closest train station is sort of halfway between Ambergate and Alfreton, so it's about halfway between the Erebosch Valley line and the Little Switzerland line. Do you see that heritage train there? This is the Butley Midland Railway, a place I've wanted to visit for a very long time. There's a bus stop for it. I believe they have a uh, Class 142 Pacer here as well. We may be able to see that might be at the other station. The Pacer's not here today, but there's a nice heritage for you for years to go over. A lot of the passengers on here seem to be, like me, in the long haul all the way from Derby to Chesterfield. Oh, interesting bus collection here. Um, we are towards the foothills of the Peak District as well, so it's starting to get quite hilly. Scenery is looking quite nice as well. Chesterfield. Oh, we're here, we're here. This is the bus station. Anyway, 15 minute collection here to the X17, which is going to take us to Sheffield. Thank you. And this is the bus station in Chesterfield. Again, quite a small one, but I don't believe this is the main one. This is Chesterfield Coach Station. There is a Chesterfield bus station as well, which is a bit down the road. But our next connection also, I believe, departs from here. Yup, X17 Sheffield Centre, 14 minutes. Stop C. It's Stagecoach Gold as well, so it should be fairly comfortable, there should be charges and uh, we should be going uh, on the dual carriageway as well, so less than an hour to get from Sheffield to, uh, from Chesterfield to Sheffield. Now it's quite an achievement to be able to get from London, central London, to Yorkshire in just two days, isn't it? We're not quite in uh, South Yorkshire yet, uh, but we will be on 
once we arrive in Sheffield. This is an MGV Evolution. Holly's a Baslo. Interesting. It sounds like an E200. It's got Metroline, Mikel. What the hell? Proudly serving the Peak District since 1921. That makes this bus company good, a good hundred, well, over a hundred years old. It's not often you see bus companies that are over a hundred years old, is it? That's very impressive. Hey, Captain Punctual is here. X17. Sheffield via Chesterfield, limited stop. This is exactly what we want. Crikey, it's the Rosas. I have a single to Sheffield, please. Thank you. Contactless being funny again. Or Lloyd's Bank being funny again. Wow, wow, wow. Now this is impressively luxurious. Look at this. Yes, but George, you bought coat hook, personal coat hook, which you don't get on many buses. Stop button integrated into the seat. Oh, it was the Rosas again. Seats. I believe this is actual leather, it certainly feels like real leather. Stagecoach gold, indeed. All for two pounds. And this seat is easily the most comfy of the trip so far. Compares to some coach seats even. Scan your engine, scan your gear gearbox. The scanners are just objectively better than the AGL versions. They're quieter, they're more powerful. It sounds different to a normal e um, M by 400 MMC, doesn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gents, I, thought, I just thought I'd let you know. We have now been on the road. It's coming up to 33 hours. We have been on the road. For, oh, shut up. We have been on the road for, for 33 hours. Oh, wow, well, wow. Those are looking pretty, aren't they? Just the other side of those hills. Well, not just the other side, but the other side of those hills is Manchester. Except for in, in perspective how close we are. Sheffield and Manchester are really, really close together. You don't realise when you look at when you think about it, but on a map, Sheffield and Manchester are very, very close. Sixty miles an hour. The bus doesn't seem to be struggling at all. Okay, Derbyshire, 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 South Yorkshire. Now in South Yorkshire. <laughs> we have made it from London to Yorkshire. But using only bus in just two days. And you're probably wondering what is the reason why you're so happy to be in Yorkshire, why you're so happy to be in Sheffield. Well, I think Sheffield is a point where I can safely say that I'm in the north of the UK, or that I'm in the north of England. I've been to Sheffield so many times in the past, I think it may very well be my most visited city, but it's not somewhere I live or somewhere I commute to. You should look at that as a view. If you're particularly eagled or you might even be able to see the railway down there. Risk of flooding. Flood risk on this road. You can see why. All the roads surrounding this area are steeper than Heathrow Express's prices. Thank you. They have reached Sheffield Interchange. We're stopping on the grounds of South Yorkshire. We're in the north of England. I need to find any bus that will take me to Meadowhall Interchange. So we started this trip at Kings Cross and Bankers Station very early yesterday morning. 
we now find ourselves at Sheffield Interchange. One day later, about to get our very final bus, the X78. Oh look, it's Cool Connect again, except it's Sheffield Connect. We're about to get the X78 um, over to Meadow Hall Interchange. Is this door open? It opened a minute ago. We have to go this way. Hi, right, singles Meadow Hall, please. Yep, see if I like that. Will work. Will work eventually. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's one of these of the trip. I'm glad, I'm both glad and a little bit sad to be on the final bus of this trip. Anyway, the X78 operated by First South Yorkshire um, is the primary route which links uh, Sheffield Town Centre with Doncaster Town Centre. Uh, so it's Meadow Hall Interchange along the way, one of my favourite interchanges that I've been to, um, which is where we'll be getting off today. Oh, I see trams. Tram 118 there. Pretty little thing livery heading towards Meadowhall. Can we beat it there? I think this is one of the most interesting notifications I've ever received. Google Maps has used your location 192 times in the background over the past three days. Do you want to, do you want to continue to allow background location use? And look at that map. That is that is what we've done. Okay, time to do a little bit of accounting. So today, or and yesterday, uh, we have travelled on a total of 17 buses. Uh, 17 buses. Uh, 14 out of those uh, 17 buses uh, I needed to pay for because of three of the three of the buses we took in London. I used on my Oyster card, and I can travel for free on an Oyster card in London. One of those buses was charged at uh, £4.10 instead of the £2.10 uh, standard charge. Um, that's because it is demand responsive service, there was not very much we could do about that. So in total, that puts the total cost for the buses at 13 times 2 is £26 plus £2.20, which is £28.20. Sheffield for £28.20 from central London is not bad at all. But it did take about 33 and a half hours. Also, that doesn't include the cost of food and the ridiculous cost of the hotel that I stayed at last night. Um, so, in total, it would have come to about 100 quid. Um, but if you were to include just standing the bus tickets, that would only cost you. My answer to the, qu <coughs> My answer to the question that I posed at the very, very beginning of the series. Today we'll be finding out what is the furthest, the furthest you can get uh, from London in just two days. The answer to that is Meadowhall, Meadowhall in Sheffield. I am certain that it can be beaten. If you would like to attempt it, which I do not advise doing, please do, and see if you can and see if you can break my time, or see if you can break my distance. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end. If you have enjoyed this series, and do click the like button down below, and do consider subscribing if you do enjoy my content. This has been so much fun to make, but it's also been a very expensive trip to do. So, um, <laughs> please, do, please do show your support. Um, I look forward to welcoming back to the channel soon. This has been It's All About The Journey. Goodbye from me. And goodbye from Meadowhall Interchange. The furthest you can get, the unofficial furthest you can get from Sheffield, from London. So it's goodbye from me and goodbye from Meadowhall Interchange.
dish with you us all again, but on trains? Let me know down in the comments below.